bag and fumble it. I get the bag and flip it and tumble it. Straight off the lot, 300 cash, can the car. So a lot of people have been talking about Quavo and Sweetie for the past few weeks, and they just got done calling it quits in their two two year and something relationship. And a lot of people were saying that it was his fault, and a lot of people were saying that it was her fault, that they both were cheating on each other, blah blah blah. blah. And um, I say that these are two young people that was in a relationship and they have no obligation to each other. So if they want to break up, then that's on them. They have no children together. They, there's no child support involved, no alimony. They was not married, even though they talked about getting married. So they have no responsibility to towards each other, no obligation, and they are free to go their separate ways if they choose. And then you have YouTube, petty YouTube, that brings a resurface a video that had to be before they broke up of them in, in a elevator scene with them having a altercation now this would be one of many scenes in the elevator that i've seen with celebrities like uh beyonce jay-z and solange and also um Lil bow wow and his girlfriend then and now we got Qua quavo and sweetie and so while a lot of people were saying that he was displaying abusive behavior, we're going to be the judge of that. And we're going to break down whose bag it was and who was really trying to leave. Now, as far as if this looks abusive or, not, uh, abusive or not, that's some strong allegations. And I wouldn't be the person to say that. I will let Sweetie be the voice for that because she's never said anything about this. Now, I remember these days, this, them young toxic love days. And, you know, they broke up with each other. They did the right thing. And hopefully they'll learn from this. And we've all been through this kind of stuff. So they did the right thing to break up and they didn't let it further escalate. But it's out here and we're here to talk about it. But I can say that I have been in altercations before to where if somebody took my phone or I took somebody else's phone and we was pulling the phone trying to take it from each other, then it was just an altercation, but there was no abuse involved. Now, while everybody thought that Sweetie was the one that was leaving and they said that he could have helped her up when she hit the ground, manners is the last thing people worry about when they're in a heated argument. And from the way that they broke up, she could have very well brought up if he was abusive in the relationship at any given time during the time of the breakup. Now, the way that this video just surfaced out of nowhere, they could be telling us something without telling us something, but we will never know. And so that's why I'm not here to judge. But to me, it looks like they were both wrong in many ways. And we're going to get into that. Now, you guys keep on watching the video because I am going to be letting you guys know what was said in the elevator. And so before I get into this video, I just want you to hear where they were at first. The video starts with Saweetie running into the elevator and fighting Quavo off. As he drags her into the elevator, he pushes her down to the floor before the doors close. For the rest of the video, she sits on the floor while he stands in front of her, and once they get to their floor, it takes Saweetie a while to get off the floor before walking out of the elevator with a limp. According to reports from TMZ, this happened at an apartment building in North Hollywood, and according to sources on both sides, it was the location of an apartment Saweetie was renting at the time in 2020, but they didn't specifically say how long ago this happened. Quavo is carrying a Call of Duty case here, which seems like some sort of promo material for its release. And the latest installment of Call of Duty came out in November, which is also when Quavo posted about getting his new PlayStation 5. So it seems like it happened around the end of 2020 when their relationship was already very unhealthy. It's not really clear what's going on in this video, who started what, or why they were struggling over a Call of Duty box. Though it does seem like she was trying to take it from him, Maybe he was leaving her apartment building, taking it home, and she was trying to keep it at her place. But regardless, this kind of altercation or physical interaction in a relationship is never okay from either side. Well, Okay, y'all heard that. They toxic, and that's why they needed to break up. Now, let's get into this elevator video. Let's get into this elevator full video. 
and let's see what's going on. See, what happened was the man was obsessed with playing video games. You know, those gamers that play video games all day and night and they don't show their woman attention. And that's what was going on. Sweetie got tired of him playing video games and she took the bag. She took the Call of Duty game and gamers don't like that. Never mess with a man in his game when he's sitting there playing the game and you turn the TV off, all heck gonna break loose. So he left the apartment and she tried to stop him. Let's see what's going on here. There's no audio, but I'm gonna be the audio. So right here, you see that? She swung and missed. Swung and missed. See, the swing game wasn't too strong because it didn't connect. Swung and miss. All right, let's keep going. Grab the bag. Bingo. Grab the bag. And he said, get back in here. Get in here. He pulled her in the elevator hard. Give me my bag. Give me, get, give me the bag. And she said, I can't believe you're going to choose Call of Duty over me. And she sat there and, and she's thinking about it. Can't believe you're gonna take my bag out. Let me go to my mama's house so I can play my game. You won't let me play the game over there. And then she said, That's why you got caught on camera. You got caught on camera. He looks up. You see that? He looked up. Because she said, You on camera, ninja. Look up right there. Hold up. You on camera. You on camera. You was on camera. They seen it. And he about to look up at the camera because she brought it to his attention. Bink. See that? Bink. Why there? Why there? Why there? Why there? Why there? At the camera, he said, man, so I don't care. I ain't do nothing to you. Then he picked his bag up and see she's still sitting there because she thought that if somebody seen her, they'll be like, is everything OK? But see, it's, this man right here said, um, this ain't none of my business. And uh, he just going to wait. But see, Quavo turned his head. You see, he turned his head because he didn't want nobody to see his face. He didn't want nobody to knew, know it was him. So he kept his face turned. You see that? The whole time until the door closed. Then he turned around. He went to another flow. Is you going to get up or what? So she rocking. She meditating. I just can't believe you chose that over me. Tired of this. Man, I ain't got time for this. I'm gone. Is you coming or not? You coming? He put the bag by the elevator door so it won't close. And he says, are you coming or not, woman? And she's still rocking. She is still rocking. And he is waiting for her to get up. And she finally, come on, you can do it. You can do it. She gets up, pulls herself up. I think she might have sprained her ankle the way she fell. Because like, let me go back right here. When they was flipping and tumbling. All right, looked like they both was losing their footing. But his foot game was a little bit better than hers. So Look, see, he fell to the side on her. The way he was pulling the bag, he fell on her and looked like she might have twisted her ankle because people was wondering why she was limping. And so right here, she finally gets up. I don't know why they keep bringing this. She finally gets up. If y'all can see that, she pulls herself up and she limps out of the elevator because I think she might have twisted her ankle. See, that looked like a person... I walked like that before when I twist my ankle. So as you can see that, as you can see, they both in the wrong. Why? It's because the man was leaving her apartment and she should have let him go. Now, if she wanted to run downstairs and swing at him and take his stuff, you wrong for that. Now he didn't have to pull her that hard in the elevator, but that's why I say they both was wrong. You, When you provoke someone, you're causing yourself to create a situation. And that's just what it is. That's just the truth. 
Now, we have to be careful when we say that things are abusive because then we take away from people that are actually being abused. These are two people that ended their relationship based off of a foundation that's never been mature. And that's why you can't look for people as relationship goes because people are real people just like the rest of us and they have problems going on. And it seems like the elevator has a way of showing that people are not perfect and their relationships are not perfect. You only see what they give you. Now, I'm glad these two broke up before things got worse and they brought kids in the mix and they, you know, brought other cheating and in, in, in marriage in the mix. And now it's a whole nother story and a whole nother obligation. But without knowing the full story, we cannot say that something looks a certain type of way because then we create a narrative for anything to look a certain type of way. Now, I want to share this with you all because all of this could be a subliminal message telling us that something was going on that we didn't know anything about. Now, right here, Sweetie says, she has this tweet that says, I'm single. I've endured too much betrayal and hurt behind the scenes for a false narrative to be circling that degrades my character. Presents don't band-aid scars. And the love isn't real when the intimacy is given to another woman. Now, while a lot of people may think that this is about cheating, it could be about other things too, because she put false narrative and then she says that uh, presents don't bend, bend aid scars. And it also could mean that he gives her presents after he's caught cheating to get back with her. It could mean a lot of things. But it's kind of weird how this video just comes out right after the breakup and then the messages and then the videos and now the elevator scene. So we'll just have to see what they say about this before we start judging. Now, let's go back to uh, Jay-Z and Beyonce's video. And then we're going to go back to Little Bow Wow's video. And then we're going to compare Now, when you look at these two and you compare them, Solange was being more physical than Jay-Z. Bow Wow and his girlfriend at the time, it looks like he wanted to buck up at her and fight her. As you can see, he was taking his jacket off and he kept snatching stuff out of her hand and she was just minding her business. And even if she was saying something, that's why you ignore people. Now with Quavo and, and, and Sweetie's situation, they they up here pulling bags that's what i see if my eyes serve me right they're fighting over a video game and they pulling and tugging with the bag they're playing tug of war tug of war so this does not compare to abusive situations because let me let me look at it let me look at it 
okay. They playing tug of war. That's all. That's all I see. He won. Of course, he's the strongest, but they pulling bags. I've been I've been in worse altercations than this over a phone, looking inside of a phone and the phone being pulled out of my hand and we we tussling over a phone, but this the situation was not abusive. Nobody actually did anything to me. I took the phone and I was looking in the phone and he wanted the phone back and he pulling the phone from me, but I shouldn't have had the phone in the first place. This was a long time ago, but stuff like this can happen to anybody. Especially if you're provoking or you're messing with somebody's stuff and you're doing something you're not supposed to be doing. You take something from somebody, they're trying to take it back. You can end up in a situation like this, but that doesn't necessarily mean it's abusive. Let's see what the comments got to say about this. Let's see what the comments have to say. Okay, this is why I never look up to celebrity relationships. You never know what's happening behind closed doors. That's true. The dude standing there like, I'm going to just take the stairs. <laughs> never envy one's relationship. You never know what's going on behind closed doors. When he looked at the camera, I bet he was like, dang, they never, I mean, dang, they saw us laughing my A off. Dude just stood on the outside of the elevator like, I'll wait for the next one. <laughs> I really thought that after J and B, most celebrities would know not to fight like this in elevators. We can see you. <laughs> we just going to ignore how Quavo dodged the heck out of that slap at the beginning. Let's see. Elevator door open. Sweetie is on the ground. And Quavo is huffing and puffing. Dude outside the elevator. You know what? I'll just take the stairs. But um, let's see. Sweetie throws hands at, throw. Let's see. Sweetie throws hands and steals bag. Quavo gets back the bag. Everybody, ayo, this man is physically abusing her. Me, did I miss something? One thing you never do is go between a man and his Call of Duty bag. That is true. Just don't date gamers. They don't have. They won't have time for you. <laughs> Somebody call Solange. So Sweetie tried to run with Quavo's bag. Sometimes some ish go down when there's a million dollars on the elevator. Ooh, I remember that song. True, true. But yeah. She's sitting there like she just put her A in time out. Like he just put her A in time out. You sit there and think about what you did. <laughs> this lady crazy. Oh man, I didn't think about that. But yeah, um, y'all let me know what y'all think about it. This ain't taking up for either or the all of it looks immature to me. But I wouldn't go so far as to say this is a be abusive behavior. This is more like kiddish behavior, kitty behavior. You took my popsicle and I'm gonna take it back out your hand. That's what it looked like to me. And they lost their footing in between. They lost their footing because as you can see. They both was falling. You see this? They both was falling. But his foot game was a little better. And that's why you seen, you see that? He fell, but he got back up, but she stayed down. And she must have twisted her ankle because that's why she was limping. Now, y'all let me know what how y'all feel about this situation. Because I don't think it's that serious. <laughs> 